Hello, dear colleagues. Based on your requests, we would like to present Atlas Scan software capabilities. This software is coupled with TLS Polaris LR. You can find more information on Polaris at our YouTube channel and Teledynap Tech website. Atlas Scan has many useful functions, but today we'll focus on ICP registration and mesh formation of a tunnel. This is the picture of the 150 meter long tunnel located north of Moscow. It is under renovation. Here, in a nutshell, We'll show how the software starting from the raw data download from Polaris to processing and filtering the acquired data sets, their pre-registration in automatic or manual modes, furthermore fine registration of separate scan stations in ICP and bundle adjustment resulting in georeferencing, export, measurements taken, mesh creation, etc. Okay, now to kick off, let us process the available data sets automatically. We assume here the scan stations are not georeferenced. Now, open Atlas Scan to create a new project, indicating the directory it will belong to. Scan stations are imported in group mode. And there are more import settings to choose. In this particular case, we choose the automatic process by setting up processing parameters done in advance, because we had no GPS signal working underground. There are various import settings such as point and colors, removal of artifacts, as well as four laser beam reflections. Initial processing includes automatic normals, computation and noise removal. In pre-registration, one can select data type and other parameters affecting automatic registration. The ICP registration function enables us to select number of control points, setting minimum and maximum search distance and depth by ICP mechanism. ICP means iterative closest point. Bundle adjustment means achieving maximum connections per scan to bind scan stations together. In this scan processing wizard, we can edit the initial scan stations layout. The Atlas Scan program can also stitch scan stations together by pre-registration from Sketch. When we launch the wizard, it is essential to specify the processing parameters, including settings of trustworthy intervals for scan stations, coordinates, defining the coordinates catalog, if we are OK here, we launch the scan processing. Once we are done with our scan processing, we are brought to the project window with each survey point cloud as listed here. If we need imports of all four laser beam returns, each group had four separate scan stations. It is a very good advantage of the Polaris Valley added solution when we work with the presence of dust, fog, bushes and trees, high grass, everything which prevents a laser beam from penetration. Okay, now let us review automatic bundle adjustment results in Atlas Scan. Here we have gotten this correct point cloud in true colors. The program deployed the scan stations in our space, stitching them together thanks to ICP registration. Well, at this stage we need to control the point cloud accuracy and its input. We can split the survey groups. By default, a group of four returns per laser beam is used to prevent their mutual movements. In our case, it is not needed. And let's curve the scan stations in a new group. Alright, in this window, in the properties, we can select registration roles for scan stations of one group. Now we can launch bundle adjustment process and set parameters we need. Select reference scan and other settings. During bundle adjustment process, we can review the bundle adjustment report
and save it to verify advantage ICP and registration arrow of corresponding points. The next step after adjustment, a cloud clustering follows. And this cloud will be our meshing job. We can define a polygon and hide points inside and outside of or classify the area of interest with the possibility to restore the deleted or hidden sections. There are several display options, for instance, perspective or author projection. as well as various color functions are offered such as inclination, color, reflectance or other. So having selected the area of our interest and having noise filtered in manual mode, let us copy it to a new cloud with the selected section we will work on furthermore. Ok, now we go to the processing dialog to remove noise from our 3D model automatically. For your choice, there are various types of algorithms for the filtering task.
we have a 3D meshing dialog now, we can set smooth and close holes parameters. It looks well. The job has been done. And finally, our job results in 3D mesh to be exported to other software programs for architecture design, 3D modeling applications, etc. Thank you very much for your attention. Please subscribe to our channel for other useful videos you can benefit from in your jobs. And be well.